Hi guys, we're gonna start loading microcontrollers from general purpose input output peripheral or in short we call it GPIO peripheral. In this peripheral we have two modes, output as well as input mode. So let's start from GPIO output mode. Any microcontroller has pins or let's say external wires. Using GPA output, we can control the state of these pins. So we can write either 1 or 0. From a hardware point of view, when we set the pin, we get 3 volts. But when we reset, we get 0 volt compared to the ground. The classical example of the, of the GPA output is controlling the LED. So by connecting the LED to one of the wires, we can switch on or switch off the LED by setting and resetting the pin. Also, we have a GPIO input mode. Instead of controlling the state of the pins, we can read the, the voltage level of the pins. So when the voltage level is less than some threshold, which is around 1.5 volts we get state 0 but when the when the voltage level is higher is greater than the threshold we get state 1 simple example of GPIO input mode is having um, the button so we can read the state of the button using GPIO input mode but you have to understand that button is a, just a mechanical structure that connects or disconnect, disconnects the wires so it cannot produce voltage. So in order to do that we have to use some power supply and some resistors. In this case we have two options either to use pull up or pull down resistor. So let's consider the first case. Um, so basically we have this button, uh, one of the wire of the button goes to the ground, another one goes to the power supply but through the pull up resistor. So we call this pull up resistor. And the wire uh, between the button and the resistor goes to the one of the pins of the microcontroller. When we have an open gate, um, Theoretically, we have a uh, infinite resistance across the button. So when we compute the voltage level on a pin, uh, we we find out that it equals three volts because we have voltage dividers. It means that we have state one. But when someone presses the button, when we have closed the gate, we have infinitely small resistance. So the voltage level um, at this point becomes zero volt. So, uh, so the state of the pin becomes zero. So using this um, simple uh, circuit, we can identify the state of the button using GPIO input mode. The second version, uh, the second option is using pull down resistor. It works in a similar way. Um, so we have uh, the button, but one of the wires of the button goes directly to the power supply, another one goes to the ground, but through this pull down resistor. When using pull down resistor, we have opposite um, states uh, compared to ones uh, in when using pull-up resistors. So when we have open gate, we have state 0, but when using pull-up resistor, we have state 1. But when someone presses the button, when we have a closed gate, we have state 1. Uh, but when using pull-up resistor, we have state 0. You can use any of these uh, options when using the button. But you have to understand that uh, in STM32 microcontrollers we have internal pull-up and pull-down resistors. So instead of 
using some external uh, resistor by connecting to your hardware you can just uh, use this internal pull up or pull down resistor by just writing a piece of code finally uh, a few words about naming GPU pins first of all we have a notion called uh, port so we might have port A, B, C, D, E, F every port has 16 pins so when I say PA7 it means port A pin 7 when I write PE15 it means port E pin 15 so using this convention we can easily refer to the specific pins of the microcontroller